like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. On number 11, we're given a graph that's defined as f of x, and then we're given an, an equation here that's defined as g of x, and g of x is 2 to the power of negative x. And what we're supposed to do here is complete these sentences where we're determining essentially which value is greater. Is f of a greater or g of a greater? Is f of b greater or g of b? Or are they the same? In other words, we're trying to compare these two values. So let's start with g, uh, f of a. So at f of a, you can see a is, is right here. Now we are not able to say with certainty what the value of f of a is. But we can say that based on this diagram, f of a has got to be less than 1. So it's, it's positive, but it is going to be less than 1. So that's going to kind of give us an indication of what that is. Now if I plug in a, um, a into g of x here, then we have g of a oops, is equal to 2 to the power of negative a. And at this point you might be like a little confused, like how does that help me at all determine the value? Well, a is still the same a over here. So what's interesting about this is notice that a is over here on the negative side of the x-axis. So that means this particular number is negative, which means that we have 2 to the power of a positive number. You'd have negative and then negative whatever the number is. Let's just give it a name like 2, right? So negative negative 2 would be positive 2. And 2 to any power that's a positive power um, greater than 1 will be, um, well, yeah, greater than 1. So this, whatever this is, I'm going to say, you know, 2 to the, um, maybe I'll just write it out like this and say, since a is negative 2 to the power of negative a must be greater than 2, okay? Because, like, you know, if we just give it a number, or actually, uh, well, could, does it have to be greater than 2? Let's see here. Um, well, if it, let's, let's, like, throw in some numbers here. Let's just do a little, little experiment. Maybe it doesn't have to be greater than 2. Let me pull this up real quick. We'll calculate. We'll do, do some quick calculations here. Let's do, uh, do a little experiment. So let's say we have 2 to the power of negative, I don't know, let's say 5. Okay, so negative 5. Okay, that's going to be a positive number greater than 2. What if it is a decimal, though? So we don't know. We, all we know is that it's going to be, so let's say like 0.2. All right, so it's not bigger than 2. I take that back. It's actually going to have to be bigger than 1. Yeah. So we can we could try smaller numbers, but we're going to see we're always going to get a number bigger than 1 here. So let's, let's, let's just do something a little bit smaller here, like 0.005. You know, um, yeah, so we can see that um, the smallest we're going to get is just going to be just bigger than 1. Okay, so this has got to be bigger than 1, and since f of a is smaller than 1, that means g of a in this case is going to have to be bigger. Okay, so f of a is the smaller one, so we can say f of a is less than g of a. Now let's look at b. Okay, so f of b, we can see, is going to be greater than 1, and that's about all we know. Okay, so we knew that f of a must be less than 1. We're going to say f of b must be greater than 1. Okay, This one was greater than 1. All right, so g of b okay, is going to be 2 to the power of negative b. Okay, so now in this case, since b is positive, then this number has to be smaller than 1, okay? And we can always test that use, you know, by plugging in numbers like I did on the last example. Since b is positive, positive, 
this has got to be smaller than 1, uh, but still positive. Okay, so uh, okay, so if this if g of b is smaller than one, and f of b is greater than one, that means f of b is got to be greater than g of b. And finally, f of zero. So f of zero here equals one. You can just clearly see that on the graph. And then so g of zero. be what we get if we substitute 0 in for x, so that'd be 2 to the power of negative 0. Now, negative 0 is just the same as 0. So 2 to the 0 uh, is the equal to anything to the 0th power, which is 1. Okay, so this is 1, this is 1, so these are equal. All right, uh, this is def definitely a conceptual problem here. This one's a little tricky. But um, that's it for number 11. Uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.